slow Where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares when Hello guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin and I have alopecia and I like to make wig reviews here on my channel, so that's what we have today. Um, if you're new, welcome, and if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for being back. If you clicked on this video, you already know what it's about. This is a wig review, um, and today, my dog's toenails are clinking. Um, I have Harper here by Uniwigs, and Uniwigs did gift Harper to me, and uh, so thank you, Uniwigs. She's so beautiful. Harper is a human hair piece. We're just gonna get like right into this review. <laughs> She's human hair. Um, she is pretty long. Let's see, I should back up so you can see the whole thing. Uh, pretty long, no bangs. Well, there's some shorter pieces um, in the front, but I kind of curled them into the longer pieces. She's pretty much just a long, um, a long hair style. Let's get into the specs super quick and then I will kind of explain like what I think about her and um, how I feel and everything. Harper is 16 inches long. She is a lace front cap. Harper is lace front um, from ear to ear. So this lace goes all the way across the whole front so it doesn't have like she doesn't have like the velvet um, ear tabs. It is lace that you have to secure down. Um, the cap size is 22 inches and the density is 130%. I have her in the color 8-12 Toffee. Um, I should show you the picture on the website. So on the website, if you can see, she looks much more strawberry sorry the reflection of my window much more of like a strawberry color um but mine is really really blonde on at the roots and then she kind of goes into that strawberry color on the bottom um so not quite what i was expecting from the photo but actually i think it's really beautiful I did want to say too, I've never had a wig like quite this kind of strawberry blonde color and I'm loving it. I, I want to get more wigs kind of like this tone. I do, like I just said, I love the color. I personally though, I don't wear long hairstyles day to day. Um, I just got really used to like short synthetic pieces or even shorter human hair pieces and I just don't... I don't do well with hair all over my neck but and my shoulders, but that's 100% just a personal thing. Um, obviously, <laughs> so many girls and women out there love long hair. So this is a style for you. Yeah, so if you love long hair, this is definitely a style for you. I should say I curled her and I kind of curled these little, the long, long bangs away from my face. She does have a center part. Let's do a close up on that, shall we? Um, the darkness that you see there is actually, I'm pretty sure that is just my little bangs peeking through. Um, I grow hair right here and it's very dark. And this lace is really, really light and transparent. So um, I think that the part and everything looks really good. I glued her down. And I am going to post that if I haven't already onto IGTV so you can see how I secured um, the front and the earpieces down. Um, but I think that the hairline looks really great. Can you guys tell? I do feel like I could put a little bit of dark powder um, at the root just to darken it a tiny bit and to blend the lace. Because if you look closely, you can kind of see like the knots but that's normal. I do wish she was a little denser in the back. So it says 130% density on the website. Um, sometimes with certain wigs, I feel like, ugh, if you feel the back, sometimes you can just kind of feel like where it's thin and you can feel the wefts. Um, and I don't love that because it makes me feel like people can see it. They probably can't. 
um, but it's just kind of like an insecurity I have. So, I mean, it's it's a great density for not making it super heavy on on you. I just I don't know. I think I have a um, I have a little bit of an insecurity about the wefts in the back showing. So I do wish that it felt a little denser back there. And then as far as the size, I believe 22 inch is like kind of uni wigs, like average. I have a really small head, so I wear petite. Um, so I did have to tighten this quite a bit, and I did have to cut a little bit extra off of the ear tabs to make it fit because um, they went. It went farther back than my ears, so I had to cut it up a little bit to make it go comfortably in front of my ears, if that makes sense. Um, but if you don't have a tiny head, um, I'm sure that this would fit great. It says it's a 22 inch, I believe it's your circumference. So if you measure like a big circle around your head, that is how you would, um, you'd measure that. And I, the closer you are to 22 inches, I would say the better that the wig is gonna fit. And see, I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, so it looks like the 22 inches is under average 22 to 22.5 and the way to measure that is the circumference of your head you can also measure you know forehead to nape ear to ear and over the top and then just the nape of your neck and kind of see where they fall on this chart as well and i will say although she's a little bit big for me um the fact that i cut the ear tabs made her makes her really really comfortable so the sizing is almost not even an issue i would say um for me since I cut that. I don't know, I think she's really pretty. The hair feels really nice. I have another human hair piece from Uniwigs and the hair feels exactly the same. I will say though, I haven't worn that wig enough to have had to wash it yet. So I don't really know how that, how, <laughs> my dog coughed. I don't really know how um, Uniwigs human hair pieces do after a wash yet or how they dry. I will have to update maybe my Instagram or something after I do that, but at least, you know, straight out of the box, the hair feels so, so, so nice. And it takes a curl really well, so that's nice. There's nothing crazy about the style. She does have like a little bit of layers. She comes with some curl as you saw from the photo, but I did curl her more because I, I sometimes I feel like the shipping box just kind of gives um, the curls a, a kind of like crimson sometimes. Um, I kind of get like Ginny vibes from Forrest Gump in this wig. Anybody else? I also should mention, I kind of said earlier about cutting the lace. This piece does come with, um, you need to cut the lace back to the hairline. If you want to see me do that, I have so many girls post about it, you know, on Instagram or whatnot, but I did post a video of me cutting this lace. So if you want to see me do it, you can. Also, like I said, I did a video showing how I secure it. So I actually, I know normally I take the wig off and I show you the cap, but I glued it on. So it's currently glued onto my head right now, so I can't really take it off and show you guys without completely messing it up and having to redo it. So I think what I'm gonna do, I hope this is okay. I'm just going to show, um, I'm gonna pop a screenshot into probably right here uh, from the website and they have really good photos um, showing all angles of the cap, so right there. You can see the cap. It is a full lace in the front, and then it is, it's wefted in the back, but it's also lace. Um, so it's kind of like a combo. I don't know what you would call that. Let's see what they say on here. Okay, so it says it's a closed weft with elastic net inside of cap. So you can see it is sewn in in wefts. It's not um, sewn in piece by piece, like hand tied. Um, it's wefted, but then there's a closed net, which is kind of nice. I don't know if that'll do much for breathability. It does, I think it adds a little to the feeling of security though, um, on your head and that it kind of helps with the, I could see that helping, I guess I should say with the lack of density it feels like it has in the back. Let's do a 360 and then I think that kind of covers it. Take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares? But yeah, if you're interested in the Harper, she is beautiful. I'll put all the specs, information, sizing, density, all of that stuff down below. I can also put my head measurements so you can kind of gauge 
um, with the sizing and whatnot. I hope this was helpful. I feel a little scattered and all over the place today, so hopefully you didn't tell too badly. Um, but thank you for watching. Again, if you are interested in Harper, I hope this helped. Um, everything will be down below. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye. Do you was sinking now? You're looking all concerned, like we're going to drown. But we both know how to swim, no worries, let's go for now. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if